Hey Alex, how you doing? Hey Mark, I'm so good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. How's it going? Busy as usual? Super busy, but I man, I've been getting the most amazing feedback about you and me. People really seem to love it and what you've done with it and what we did with the colors. It's just really great. It's everything we hoped it was going to be. Uh, it's I'm so now, happy. Now right. I mean, well, now that, now that this is out there, actually, I would like to just touch base at some point. Um, I actually have some ideas for maybe doing like a year round yarn. Okay, well, that's that was really, wow, you've got me thinking now. Let me have a think on it and uh, speak to the people who we need to speak to and uh, what we can do. Great. Awesome. Okay. okay, you take care, Alex. Thank you so much. You too. In 2020, I launched my first yarn, Hue and Me, in collaboration with Lion Brand, and I'm so grateful for what a success it's been. I've designed over 40 patterns using it, and we have expanded the line to include 30 colors. Knitters and crocheters loved it so much that Lion Brand asked me to create another yarn with them. People loved the concept of Hue and Me and the fact that all of these colors go together, and if they're beautiful colors, they're sophisticated and high-end, and it feels more luxury. Um, and it, but it's affordable, so I wanted to give an option to those people as well who maybe couldn't use wool yarn because of an allergy or because of the climate where they live. So You and Me is, was doing very, very well. Um, that yarn does have, it's acrylic and wool, so it would be considered more of a winter, full winter uh, yarn. And when Alexi had reached out to her audience, she had wanted um, a yarn that basically would be transseasonal and could sit on the shelf at retail for 12 months throughout the year. The first step was working with product development to decide what kinds of qualities we wanted to include with this new yarn. I think when we started again talking about a new yarn, I there were definitely things that I wanted to carry through from Hue and Me. I wanted them to be kind of in the same family. But the biggest feedback that I got from people who wished that Hue and Me would be slightly different, there were a lot of people who had asked for an, a hypoallergenic yarn, 100% acrylic or polyester, something that didn't have any wool content in it because obviously there are some people who are allergic to wool. And the other thing is that Hue and Me is a seasonal yarn. You know, it's very specific to fall winter because it's that chunky weight, it has the wool blend. I think our goal and Alex's goal was to obviously have a slightly lighter weight yarn. Um, Hue and Me, while it's wonderful, you can't use it for every garment. So we really, once we had the success with Hue and Me, we wanted to look at a, y a yarn that could be used for all year round projects. I think one challenge is for all of us that we had the success of you and me, so now you're wanting <laughs> this yarn to be as successful, if not more successful. Um, you want it to be cohesive, but you want it to have a slightly different feel and look to you and me, whilst also maintaining the same um, palette of colours that works together, but that is also different than what we've already had. I love it. It is not a shiny acrylic, it's a matte acrylic. Um, it's super soft and springy, so it's a very sophisticated <laughs> acrylic, if I can say that. Um, and I think it has shelf appeal and people will be into it. The touch, it feels amazing. Um, it works up amazing. I think it'll be good. This new yarn needed a name and we came up with the perfect one, Color Theory. We ended up on color theory because we really like the concept of it being sort of this like artist tool. Um, a color theory in essence is basically like the logical structure for how to work with color. Color theory because we can talk about how colors play in different Why are some colors like fall appropriate exactly. or spring appropriate yep. and how do you blend them together? And, yeah. and beyond that how color makes you feel and totally. it's nice that like it is an all season and you could incorporate these fun and vibrant and saturated colors into your winter wardrobe. Absolutely. So some words that I would use to describe the concept of color theory are versatile, clean, fresh. And we definitely were thinking a lot about spring and summer, but at the same time, the fact that it's a very four season, transseasonal yarn. Color theory is a great all year round um, yarn. Perfect for garments, shawls, tank tops, anything you can think of. This yarn is um, a light CYC4, 100% um, acrylic, 100 grams, uh, 246 yards. 
Of course, with a name like Color Theory, choosing a great palette was super important. The biggest challenge, honestly, is narrowing down the colors. <laughs> Some of the more popular colors of Hue and Me, I kind of wanted versions of that in this new yarn, but also because this new yarn is uh, all season, I wanted it to have kind of more friendly, bright colors that would suit more of a spring, summer concept, and but still have really beautiful colors for fall as well. I'm so lucky, lucky to have the rest of the Lion Brand team help me with that process as well because like Faye and Regina in PD, you know, they're developing yarns all the time. They're, they have so much more experience in that than I do. And so it's really amazing to have their ears and eyes throughout that process as well. I was there to assist Alex to get her vision across. So she had total control and I was there to pick up where she was missing something or had a color in her head that she needed to get out. We should have at least six more neutral colors, so like the grays and the beiges right, and stuff. Start with the neutrals? Yeah, let's start with the neutrals and then we can kind of go in groups of colors. We've got like... So while the colors, in my opinion, are still very sophisticated and elevated, they're not super bright, but they're not as dusty as the Hue and Me palette. They have just a little bit more life to them, I would say. And so you can create a whole rainbow with this palette and it looks beautiful in that form, or you can mix it all up and each of the colors is gonna just sit really nicely with the other one. While I worked on the colors, the design department came up with some labels that looked cohesive with Hue and Me. And so then, the colors that you chose for these are so Yeah, so it's pretty. nothing that competes with the colors of the yarn at no, all. It these just, are like versions of the colors yep, that we chose. Celebrates too. it. So and exactly, it, celebrates it. Yeah. I love that. You know, this if, if you saw this label on this yarn, like color theory, it looks like it's missing its color, right? It does a little bit. It looks like not the yarn that it is. Yeah, the these colors that you color. chose, I mean, they, I am like immediately uh, drawn to these. Like if I saw these on a shelf, I'd be like, what is that? Exactly. Right? Where this is kind of, it's beautiful, but especially if you're in like a big box retail store, there's, there's so much competition yep. with everything happening around you. And I feel like you really want something that catches your eye and draws you in. <laughs> I've been working with Lion Brand now as a designer, um, an indie designer blogger since 2016. So I was already, you know, even friends outside of work with so many people at Lion Brand. I can't say enough good things about this company and the people who work here. And so having the opportunity to work with them on a project like a new yarn was so incredibly exciting to me and still is. And I just, I can't say enough good things about the support that I've gotten from all of the different teams at Lion Brand, from PD to marketing. They've helped come up with the concepts, with the names, with the beautiful aesthetic that you see on the labels and the marketing. I mean, that's all down to the Lion Brand team. I'm a very small part of this puzzle, um, but it's been so fun to, to work with all of them. We love collaborating with Alex at Lion Brand. Um, obviously, we, we do um, develop quite a number of yarns here throughout the year. And so it's kind of fun with Alex that we get to slow down a little bit. It's fun to talk to somebody outside of our, our normal, wonderful, creative environment that we have here, but it's fun to get an outside opinion. Um, and she cares about yarn as much as we do, which is amazing. It's really just very collaborative. She works so well with everyone um, and really just feel like she's part of the Lion Brand family, as are all our bloggers. We just love working with Alex and seeing what great ideas she comes up with next. Um, I'm really excited to see, um, same as you and me, is what um, our customers make with it. See all the fantastic things that they come up with. You get the launch pad with designs from Lion Brand and from Alex. But obviously once the yarn's on the market, it's just fantastic to see what everybody else uses it for and what they create. She's so easy to work with. Um, she knows what she wants. So it's it goes really smoothly even though. And she though appreciates I think your feedback and your, yeah. the collaboration with you on the color. She's open for other people's ideas as well as her own so that she gets the best end result possible. On rating of projects this is probably one of the easier projects for us. Correct, <laughs> correct. It's hard to believe in some ways because you work for so long on it and there's so many steps involved that go into this and so many details that it's kind of 
a high and a low. You're really excited that the yarn's out, but you're also like, oh, okay, we've finished that project now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, really exciting once the yarn is actually out and you can physically see it with the labels on it and the designs that Alex has created. And when it's actually live on the website and in stores, it's obviously really exciting to see the vision come to life. Now that the yarn is ready, I can't wait to see what you'll do with it. This whole process is so fun. It can be very exhausting. I work really hard. I don't sleep much, but it is so rewarding. Being able to see whips and finished pieces, people tagging me in their Instagram and their Facebook photos and projects on Ravelry, like, I can't tell you how rewarding it is to see people using this yarn and enjoying it because that's all that I want. I, I can't wait to develop the next yarn. <laughs> We're gonna wait a little bit on that, I think, because we've got plenty of things to do with this. I just can't wait for everyone to be able to hold it and feel it and start using it. Um, I have no doubt that you guys are gonna love this yarn.